So here comes our principle number seven that governments can sometimes improve market outcomes. Now question arises that if the invisible hand of the market is so great, then why we need government? In our previous video and also in our in the lecture slide, we saw that invisible hand is perfect. And you know, people are selfish and when they are selfish, what they are doing, they are doing great for the economy, well-being for the society. Then why the invisible hand is so terrible that we need government? So only government only works if the government enforces rules and maintains the key institutions. How? For example, if a person is broken or you know the old people they get sick people are all selfish and doctors are also selfish they just take care about the money that's it and you don't have the money so you are deprived of the medical costs or medical bills or similar uh, similarly like that so one one concept in which government needed they are property rights so the ability of an individual to own and exercise control over scarce resources we call that property rights Similarly, restaurants will not offer food until he is assured that customer will pay. What if you don't pay? Then governments need it. For example, police need it. And who pay the money to police? The salaries are paid by the government. So, <laughs> governments are needed for efficiency and equity. So, let's explore this further. And also, in case of market failure, governments are needed so it occurs when markets fails to allocate resources efficiently like our subprime subprime mortgage crisis in 2008 and all the housing you know mortgage prices are going down it you know it creates a chain reaction and it causes market to fail and then government acted as a lender of lost resort it takes the you know responsibility and pumps billions of dollars to just to stabilize the economy so when the market fails governments can intervene to promote efficiency and equity so if we believe on invisible hand then invisible hand is failed to distribute the equity how football players getting more than snooker players both are sportsmen both are you know champions of their own games but still, football players are getting more salary than snooker players. Similarly, the invisible hand does not ensure that everyone has sufficient food, clothes, or health care. So that's why governments intervene income tax, charitable institutions, public health care, right? And also the public goods, of, for example, the parks, right? like parks are open for everyone if people are you know if, if we just let this invisible hand to play then only those people you know do, those who have money they are uh, uh, they are allowed to enter the parks and those who don't have the money they are not allowed to enter the parks in that case invisible hand you know it may fail to ensure the economic prosperity is distributed equitably so that's why governments can improve on market outcomes. Our eighth principle is that the standard of living depends on a country's production, which means that country who is producing more goods and services, its standard of living is higher. So it has a link from our principle number seven, which is invisible hand, that if you are producing more goods and services, so that invisible hand push the society upward and when society is lifted upward people have more money to spend so they will spend on their standard of living improved you know schoolings education improved housing improved health care in that way their standard of living is lifted up so standard of living may be measured in different ways number one by comparing the personal incomes so if you see the personal income, by the way, this is done in 2003. The Nigeria got the personal income $900, Mexicans $8,950, and US 37500 
So by comparing the personal incomes here, so you can just say that Americans they can enjoy more standard of living than Mexicans and then Nigerians. So we can ensure minimum standard of living by imposing minimum wage laws as well. You can say that okay janitors or those who have no skills must be paid at least three thousand dollars. In that case you are maintaining the standard of living as well. And also you can compare the total market value of nationals production or nations production we call that GDP gross domestic product which is a concept of macroeconomic. So from eight nine tenths these principles belong to macroeconomic. If you don't understand here quite well then don't just worry about that. You will learn or you have already learned in in, in, in your macroeconomics. So three ways you can see which country got the better standard of living where people get per higher personal income where there are minimum wage laws and where the GDP is higher right so our ninth principle is that prices rise when the government prints too much money so this concept is also belongs to macro economics right if you don't understand here and don't worry about that you will learn or you already have learned in your macroeconomic class so we just go through uh, you know a little bit more hastily here I'm just going to give you a little concept and that's it so that I think will serve this course purpose here so when government prints too much money the prices rises so we call that concept inflation which is increase in overall level of prices in the economy so one cause of the inflation is the growth in the money supply or quantity of the money so when governments creates large quantities of money it prints too much money then the value of the money falls so if people have more money then what happened then you can afford more goods and services and you don't care about the prices because you have more money and you spend it so previously if one chocolate of ten dollar because government pays too much money and you have more money if the price of the chocolate is twenty dollar you don't have to worry about that you still can afford or can buy chocolate for twenty so this is just only one chocolate and price increases and you're still buying that it means you know the money supply in your hand increases the one reason is that government spends too much money and you have when people have too much money then price start rising for your knowledge and curiosity I have included here a very nice a depiction of this when government spends too much money so here the largest bank note in the history of banking in 1993 this is 500 billion dinar note issued by Yugoslavia in 1993 and it can just buy I think a pack of like a bread single bread or maybe a pack of cigarette that's it so it happened when people you know well, sorry when the government prints too much money then you know the prices start rising and when governments you know start printing too much money then this happen we can say that it's too much big note but it can only buy a small pack of like bread or maybe a one cigarette or maybe one glass of milk just like that our last principle is the society faces a short run trade-off between inflation and unemployment so since we are using the word short run so there are two cases in 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 economics one is called long run and one is called short run so in long run higher level of prices is the primary effect of increasing the quantity of money but in short run is more complex so let's talk about this short run effect that short term inflation causes increase in the amount of money high demand and more jobs which means unemployment decreases so remember there is a difference between employment and unemployment so in short run when inflation rises 
so what happened to the sellers when they see that the people have more money so they can afford higher prices so they start producing more goods and services when the production rises in order to support the rise in production they need people so they hire more people when they hire more people unemployment decreases or em employment or employment rises right so let's see the trade off that is rise in inflation causes prices to push which means increase to produce more goods and services causes decline in unemployment so it means if inflation rises which is the case of short then what happened unemployment decreases so here we have successfully completed our you know chapter one the 10 principles of economics so besides all those eight nine and ten principles if you don't understand because that belongs to macroeconomics if you don't understand this we can still talk in our you know zoom meeting and our you can just post the question in our wechat group or blackboard discussion forum i will be happy to answer that or you guys also you know appreciate it and you know to answer your fellow class questions so next class we're going to be you know covering a different chapter but until then take care stay at home stay indoors stay safe take care of your family and yourself bye bye